Hey friends, it's Jennifer Herndon at jenniferherndon.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Streamified, which is a new app that's available that allows you to post from Google Plus and cross post to your other social media networks like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, your profile, or your page. So this is a really unique feature of this app. The first app I have found that allows you to cross post from Google Plus that actually works. It also allows you to see all of your different social media networks and some other things like Google Reader in one stream if you want to. Now that's a little overwhelming for me, but if um, that helps you organize your day or your time better, then that feature is available. And you also, even if you don't want to have that feature on all the time, I'll show you how you can turn it on and off and, and just check your stream once a day if you want to from Streamified. Let's get started by downloading the app. You'll want to go to Streamified.com and this app is available for Google Chrome and there's also an extension available for your iPhone or your iPad. We're just going to talk about using it in Google Chrome today since you can um, obviously use that with a Mac or a PC. First thing you want to do is click the big blue download button here and I'm not going to do it since I already have it downloaded but it is an easy and quick um, download and installation of the app. You'll know that it has been installed in Google Chrome once you see the little S within the brown box over here indicates that you now have the Streamified app. You'll also know when you go over to Google Plus you'll see on the left hand side your top icon here probably says home and has a little picture of a house. Once Streamified is installed that is replaced with um, the little Streamified logo in the box again. Let's go back then and configure your settings. Now once you have, this is going to be the first thing you want to do once you have Streamified installed. And so you click on the little brown um, square with the S over here in your extension or in your app and it will um, bring up all of the different, I already have mine installed so it's going to show them already as installed. If you didn't already have them installed it would just bring up um, the option right here that says add new stream. You could click on the plus and it would bring up the Facebook, the Twitter, the LinkedIn, the Google Reader icons so that you could get them set up. If you click on the Facebook icon, it will then ask you to give the app permission to connect with Facebook as you've probably seen before when you've installed any app on your um, computer and connected it with your social network. So just allow the app permission to connect with all of your different networks and then they'll show up here as they are installed and, and a part of your streamified settings. And then, then let's look at growl notifications over here. I have growl notifications checked and what this is it just gives you a little um, box that shows you when your post has been successfully shared to another social network. I'll demo it for you in just a minute here. The next thing you're going to want to do is um, click on your networks that you've installed so that you can get your um, settings the way that you want them to be. What this is talking about here is what, what do you want to see in your stream and what do you want to be able to post to. Um, if you want to see your news feed from Facebook, check it. If you want to see your Facebook wall, check that. And then here, make sure you look here, below that are going to be any fan pages that you have or that you administer. See my main fan page here is Jennifer Herndon. It's hard to see but there's a little green check there. Just make sure you click on it so you'll also be able to post to your fan page your, or your Facebook business page as they call them now from Google+. Once you've got those settings the main thing in there is just making sure this is your preference because newsfeed and wall is just what you're going to see in your stream. Um, the important thing is to make sure that you have got your Facebook business page checked here so that you can see um, or so that you can post from Google Plus to that page if you want to. Um, with Twitter I'll show you a neat little function with Twitter. Um, if you don't want to, if you'd like to be able to look at your Twitter stream but you have a lot of followers and you really don't want to see all of that mixed in with your other streams it'll pull up your list here and you can just check what streams you want to see. If you only want to see um, certain lists that show up in your stream check those and that's all you'll see instead of seeing every single tweet from every follower that you have. Um, you can do that by checking timeline if you want to but that for me would be very overwhelming. You can also check to see every time that you're mentioned which might be a cool feature. I just have a couple of um, lists that I follow closely checked now to see in my stream. This doesn't affect what you can post. You can always cross post to Twitter so that's no no issue. With LinkedIn there are no special settings. Um, 
it will give you ground notifications when new posts are available if you want them. That's probably actually something I don't want. So once you've got um, everything set up here and you make sure that you've connected your Facebook business page so that you can post from there and you've narrowed down your Twitter to your list if you want to, you're ready to go. So let's go on over to Google Plus and I'll show you how you can cross post. It's very simple just like you would normally post. When you get ready to post, you'll click on the share what's new here and you see down here it brings up all of the other things that I have connected and streamified. My Facebook um, profile, my Facebook business page, my Twitter, and my LinkedIn. So whatever you want to cross post to, you just click those. You can see now my Facebook profile has a little green check mark because I clicked that I want to cross post to there. Now, um, We'll just do an example here for purposes, just to, so I can show you what it, how it works. Let's just say that that's what I want to do. I want to post to Google Plus, and I also, which is obviously where I am, and I also want it to post to my Facebook timeline at the same time. So whatever you wanted to post here, we'll just let's just do a test. Um, people will think that I've lost my mind. Um, testing. And you can see down here, one of the nice things too, is it gives you how many characters you've used. So you'll know if you're going to post this to Twitter, you'll know uh, when you reach your maximum number of characters that can be seen on Twitter. So right now, all I've done is check that I also want this to go to my Facebook timeline page. Um, my Facebook, sorry, not page, my Facebook timeline profile. And I will go ahead and hit share. And then we'll watch what happens over here. These are your growl notifications. It shows it's sharing the post to my profile and the post has been shared to my profile. And if I was sharing it other um, places, those little black boxes would pop up to confirm that in fact it had successfully been shared. It's a nice feature um, in, in case there is a bug and it's not sharing or you forgot to check the right boxes or whatever. Um, so you can see here it shows up and then we'll jump over to my um, this is my profile, my Facebook profile, and refresh that. And you can see here that it also shows up with the notation that um, it is via Streamified. Now let's talk about um, some bugs, some downsides, uh, some of which I believe will be fixed some of which are just probably always going to be a problem. I don't think there's ever a perfect third-party app, but I want to give you a heads up on some of the limitations so you'll know when you should or shouldn't use this. Overall, because this is a new app, there are some bugs, but they're, they have great customer support. When you are um, setting up your, your different streams, look right here where it says Get Satisfaction. Click on that and it'll take you over to the form where you can sign up and post any questions or problems you have or anything you'd like to see on Streamified. Um, I posted there yesterday that I'd like to see a share button added when you post a picture because there's no share button added to <coughs> excuse me, your Facebook post when you post a picture and they said, hey, we can do that, no problem. Uh, they really want to make this like the greatest app ever, so I encourage you to use that if you see anything that you want or you have any problem. They're very responsive within the same day, a lot of times within even the same hour or so. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what three specific limitations I see on this app are. Um, one is, let's look at this post here. Uh, let's see if we can find this back in Google. I made this from Streamified when I was just been playing with it and kind of testing it out. And you can see, hopefully, yeah, here that I've got this post and I uh, have it nicely spaced here and I've got the quote that I wanted to highlight right in the middle of the post. But then when it shows up on Facebook, it just mushes it all together. And I don't like that at all. I mean, there's got to be at least a space there or something. So that is a limitation, um, in the formatting. And I will copy this and put it on the Get Satisfaction uh, form and I'm sure they will work on fixing this. I think it's something that can be fixed and they will work on fixing it because that's what they want to do is uh, what their users want. The second limitation is unless you post a link or a photo there is no share button and they I've been talking with them about this they don't believe they can add a share button. I 
I, what do I know? Um, but if you are, see, we have here the one I just posted. There's a like and comment, but no share. And that's a big limitation. Now, if you post a link like I did here, um, there is the Streamified adds the share button in. This is what you're going to find with any third party app, with Hootsuite, with Buffer, with any of them. Um, Facebook does not add a share in, but the third party apps have put their own share up there. So this will. Um, you know, this kind of takes away that problem as long as your reader goes up and clicks on that share. Um, you know, it's probably just always better to post directly to Facebook, but sometimes we just don't have time to do that. So I would caution you that if you are posting something that you even remotely want shared, which is kind of the point of social media, that you probably not use um, Streamified to post to Facebook in those circumstances. Now, you know, it's fine. You can still post to LinkedIn and to, tw um, to Twitter, but um, you're missing out there on a huge opportunity, so I wouldn't particularly recommend that. Um, the last limitation on this that I don't think we're ever going to be able to get around um, in, the, in the very near future anyway is you can see here on this post, I originally posted this, you know, obviously on Google Plus, and I wanted to put the author's name in here so that people could click on it and automatically connect with her, add her to their circles, and so that she would know that I was sharing her content. So you know on Google Plus to link to somebody, you have to put the plus sign in front of their name. Well, it's going to show up like that also on Facebook and Twitter and anywhere else you post and, and LinkedIn with the plus in front of it, but on those other platforms it doesn't do anything to link to her. So it just looks like either obviously this was originally a Google Plus post or that I have a funky plus sign for no reason. Uh, and then, you know, if I, I also would want her to know that I shared this on Twitter. It's not going to be possible for me to do that if I post it from Google Plus because you know I'll need the at sign before her name on Twitter and it's it, you know, I need the, the plus sign for Google Plus, so they're incompatible with each other. So if you're looking, if you really want to make sure you have somebody called out on Twitter um, so that they see your mention, and if you're concerned about this plus looking funky here, then you're not going to want to do it this way if you're including somebody's name. So those are the limitations. I, all the third-party apps have limitations. I have mainly been using Google Plus to post things that I also want to go to um, Twitter and occasionally um, some links and things that I want to post to my to my Facebook page. Uh, one bug they're having right now is their Facebook page posting is not working but they told me yesterday it'd be working again within 48 hours so and they're really good about that so if you can hang with them through the bugs it is a great um, app to use in certain circumstances. The bottom line is in social media you've got to be on the platforms, you've got to be engaged. You're not going to be able to automatically schedule all your posts. You're not going to be able to cross post all the time. It's just not going to be possible. But with tools like Streamified, um, you can do, it can go a long ways towards combining some of your work and taking a little bit of time off what you do. So I hope this tutorial has been um, helpful to you. I think Streamified is a great answer to cross posting from Google Plus in certain situations. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.